Hey everybody, it's your boy K1 bringing you more E3 fun. Well, kind of the last bit of E3 fun because E3 has once again come and passed. Wasn't bad this year, but not really much shocking, but I'll get into more of that later on. So I'm just bringing you my final <laughs> reviews of the f remaining conferences, starting with Ubisoft. So let's get right into it. <laughs> So starting off, Ubisoft began with their new game of Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, which is interesting. It really shows that the Rabbits have become a major icon in gaming. You know, as they started off with Rayman raving Rabbits, you know, that was supposed to be maybe a one-time deal, but the Rabbits got so popular. They had Rabbits mini games. Rabbits came back. And Rayman took a back seat with his own game, but then Rabbits went off and made their own game. So now they're bringing the Rabbits into the Mushroom Kingdom as, like, allies slash enemies. And it's like a Disgaea strategy game with Mario. Technically, somehow, they gave Mario Mega Man's Buster Cannon. So now everybody's getting Mega Man's Buster Cannon and using that as their attacks. And you can team up with the rabbits, use them for a strategy, you know, bounce off each other, do combo attacks, that kind of thing. But, you know, the main focus, I have to say, of this game was not only that it's a new crossover game, they actually brought the one and only Shigeru Miyamoto on stage. I mean, you only expect to see Shigeru Miyamoto at a Nintendo press conference to just literally kick off the show with that. Wow. That, that I did not see that coming. Just literally Shigeru Miyamoto out there and hyping up this game. So good on you, Ubisoft, for bringing a real celebrity on, like, right at, right at the opening gate. Good on you. So then after that, they started into another thing of Assassin's Creed Origins, a new trailer, and some gameplay. You've already heard my thoughts on that, so, you know. Go check the uh, the previous video to hear more on that. Then they announced the Crew 2, which will be more about boats, planes, and all forms of vehicles than just cars. They went to South Park, Fracture, Butthole, which I am looking forward to because I played Stick of Truth and that was awesome. And it looks like they're bringing back all the comedy, all the stuff that made the first South Park game great, which is really all they really need to do. You know, as long as they keep the comedy and the jokes and, you know, still keep the same gameplay system, I definitely think Fracture Behold will be a great game to play. Then they brought out their new game, Skull and Bones, which is technically the Assassin's Creed Black Flag Naval Battles as its full-own game, which is something you gotta look out for because, I won't lie, the naval battles in Assassin's Creed were hilariously fun. You know, you get to sing pirate songs, you get to just rob random ships for supplies. So the main thing is now you get to, you know, either start off as a solo pirate and rise or raise through the ranks or team up with friends online and create your own crew. Hmm. What? There's a show about this, but I can't place something. It's about one, just need one something, one piece of that show. That'll come to me later. But yeah, so it's going to be a major online event. So you rob sh other ships and major naval ships to get treasure. But the thing is, it's in the high seas. So every crew for themselves, meaning if you're robbing one ship, another pirate ship can come in and take the ship out with you or take you out after you've robbed the ship. So there's some strategy in that. And then they show like a few naval battles, but then they said like at the end, how you rob, how you act on the high seas affects the high seas. And then they showed like a bunch of dead ship debris rising. And then if you they pan out to a huge giant squid, so I guarantee there's going to be like supernatural elements like ghost pirates and sea monsters and that kind of stuff. So that'll probably be interesting to see what they do with that. Then they went to a quick Just Dance like number. Like they started off with techno, then K-pop, then regular. I mean, you know, 
I'm not a major thing. I've played Just Dance just for the hell of it. You know, I'm not into it like some people, but, you know, they didn't spend a lot of time on it. They just danced, then said, yeah, it's coming out in October. Thank you very much. So I'm not going to cut points for that because, hey, they just came out, danced, got to the point, left it. Then they brought out this new game called Starlink, which is technically a Galaga game. Because the main reason of the, like, the main selling point they're trying to get to this is this detachable little amiibo-based ship. That's not just for Nintendo, but it's going to be for PS4 and Xbox. So you connect it to your controller, and then you can take it apart and add pieces to make your ship either fly faster, shoot better, become more powerful. So that's kind of be the main selling point. So kind of like Disney Infinity or Skylanders, you're going to have to get pieces probably more and more and more just to make your ship all powerful so you know not much of a fan of those things so then they brought out steep which is an olympic skiing game not even interested so yeah if you're interested hey golf go for it then they brought out far cry 5 now this is something i am looking forward to i've seen all the trailers and it did show a nice gameplay demo of how you will actually be able to use your allies and characters in like tactical base fighting so you can have like one character get up on top of a water tower as a sniper and they can help like take out people while you go on the ground and take out more people and they show that you're going to be able to like get planes boats cars there's a dog in there hopefully it's better than the one in fallout 4 and it's all about taking down this horrible cult that's taken over this, like, Hope County. I mean, I'm looking forward to it because this is going to see. I wonder how they're going to make Far Cry 5, like, since it's the first one based in America, compared to 3 that was in that tropical island and 4 that was in the Himalayas. So, you know, it's close to home. Let's see what they do with that. And then finally, how they ended off the conference. Literally, the biggest surprise and just the thing that got everyone hyped was the news of Beyond Good and Evil 2 is coming very soon, which I literally did not expect. I saw the trailer and I saw the pig at first and I was like, no way, <laughs> no effing way they're going to do this. And, you know, I thought, oh, maybe it's a remake or maybe a remastered, maybe. And then I saw that one woman I thought was Jade, but then I was like, no, that can't be. And then just the sweet pan out to Beyond Good and Evil 2, which is technically a prequel because it happens like 30 years before Jade's born. So I don't mind it. I just know I've been waiting 15 years because I played the original Beyond Good and Evil. And <laughs> I mean, if anything was on the sequel list to get made, that was one of the top things. So that was a nice big surprise and great way to end the conference. And the real thing I really want to put up is they showed some great respect to the studio. They had the creator come up there and say, hey, thanks to all of our teammates and all the people who stuck with us. We've been working really hard to get this game out and you all stuck with us. And that's the reason we were able to make this. And we are just so happy. And you can see the tears and adulation in his eyes just as he was crying and thinking. So he really did it for the fans. So, you know. Mad respect to that guy. Overall, Ubisoft kept very well. It was a great time. Lots of surprises. Lots of gameplay. Nothing was wasted. So, And then, of course, the final announcement, which surprised, which was really the big blowout and great way to end it. So, Ubisoft, you, you surprised me this year. You get an A. <laughs> Definitely can't give you anything lower. Definitely grab, you grabbed yourself an A this year. Great job. Hope, you're, <laughs> hope you keep this up for next year. So, do you disagree? Do you agree? Let me know in the comments below. So, thank you for joining me. Be sure to be on the lookout for the Sony conference coming up next and then Nintendo. So, once again, this is your boy K1 bringing you that E3 fun. See you next time. Happy